competition here in Kamloops. And Rod, clearly our storylines for this evening, Chris and Christy, a definite shot at the gold medal, and possibly with the withdrawal of the Polish team, another Canadian team could make the podium. And you would definitely include this team. They slipped to second in Canada last year, number nine in the world. Canadian champions in 97, Marie-Claude Savard-Gagnon and Luc Bourdais. Tough position for them to skate. It's going to be very, very important for them to nail a clean performance here with no mistakes. They open with a double twist. And now the element which gives them the most difficulty, most teams most difficulty is this side-by-side -side triple toe loop. And they do it! program this year, that being a throw jump, which really benefits Luke and Mary Claude because they have outstanding throws. I think it also takes some of the risk away from the side-by-side -side jump because there's not only just one risk element now, there are two risk elements, and the crowd is with them. this throw triple sow cow. Beauty! Straight into the pair combination spin. in the competition. The back inside death spiral. We said they might make the podium. They might win gold if they skate like that. What a way to get the night started in Kamloops. First out of the chute. And they were brilliant. Marie Claude Savard Gagnon and Luc Rade at the 98 Sun Life Skate Canada International. If you've got the Bell First Rate Savings Plan, you can talk all you want across Canada for just 10 cents a minute. Their proud coach, <laughs> Paul Martini. What a great start to the season for them. They've had a really difficult season and summer leading up to this event. Here is the list of skaters for the yeah. short program. Marie Claude and Luke, of course. Then the Czech team, the Russians. Jamie Saleh and David Pelche. Zhui Shen and Hong Bo Zhao of China. And Christy Sargent and Chris Wirtz to skate last. I don't think they could have skated this program any better. Let's take a look at the triple toes. Watch Mary Claude to see if she toes down on the landing. Looks like it may have been a two foot landing there. Very, very close. But watch this throw. She flies. Mm -hmm. She nails that landing. And what I loved here, how, how, look at how she turns forward and they go straight into the next element. That is risky because if she misses the throw, then this element gets affected as well. Now watch the, the death spiral. He goes in in a spread eagle. She goes down in an unusual position, but beautiful, solid, backward inside edge. 
Kind of Coached by one of the best at that. Paul Martini. They had a really difficult summer. Luke was off for a great part of the summer with a back injury. They found it very frustrating, set their training way back, but they certainly seem to have recovered. The eye on the judges again this year. Some new rules that have been in place for skating. There is a new system. Really won't affect you too much at home. It's a collective judging system. Skaters will now be ranked one against another, a one-by-one one system. And the rankings of the judges are taken into effect. Not the ordinals anymore. But look at the marks for required elements. Conspicuously low. Very low. I'm, I'm surprised. They obviously took a deduction for the two foot on the jump. But remember, they're the first skaters out of the block. They're simply setting the standard. From here, they'll play skaters either ahead or behind. I don't think Marks means so much right now. Just getting that one laid down here in Kamloops was pretty special.